Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Michael Carbone. I'm a business and immigration attorney in New York City. And today I want to cover the topic of conditional green cards and how a divorce will affect your ability to remove the conditions from your conditional green card when the time comes. Before I get into this topic, if you have any questions, please drop a comment below. Otherwise, visit us at carboneattorneys.com. We have a button in the top right corner of our website. Click it, fill it out, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So for today, I wanna to cover how getting a divorce will affect your ability to remove the conditions from your conditional green card. So unfortunately, all marriages in this country do not last. And this is true whether you're a citizen or not. Uh, we have a very high divorce rate in this country. And the most important thing to take in, into consideration is if you are a conditional green card holder, the divorce will have larger ramifications for you as it wouldn't for a US citizen. When it comes to the petition to remove conditions, that's typically filed within 90 days of the expiration of your conditional green card, it's done most often in a joint fashion. So you file a joint petition with both spouses and you would go about that process as anyone would in a healthy marriage. Now, in order to waive that joint filing requirement, you have to show one of the following three grounds to waive that joint filing requirement. Number one, the marriage has been terminated by death or divorce, the conditional resident or their child has been subject to abuse, or the conditional resident would suffer an extreme hardship if their conditional green card was terminated. Now, you can file this waiver at any time if you can prove any of these grounds to waive the joint filing requirement. You can also file under multiple grounds. So if all three are applicable or two are applicable, you're encouraged to file on both of those grounds or all three of those grounds if they are applicable. Now, we're gonna focus on just the divorce aspect for the purposes of this video. And it's important where you are in the divorce process. So the most important component of all of this is regardless of whether you are divorced, you still need to prove that you were in a bona fide marriage prior to the termination of the marriage. So this means that when you submit your uh, petition to remove conditions, you will still need to submit evidence that you were in a legitimate marriage. So this could be financial records, tax returns, uh, you know, a, a deed with both your names on it, uh, joint bank account statements, anything that shows that you were a married couple living together in a legitimate relationship, you need to submit that evidence. Now, when it comes to the divorce itself, if you are divorced prior to the expiration of the conditional green card, you will want to submit that divorce decree with your petition packet, as well as an, uh, a declaration about the marriage, the breakdown of the marriage. You've tried your best to keep the marriage together, uh, although best efforts have failed and the marriage could not be kept together. Now, if the divorce is still pending before you need to file uh, to remove the conditions, you might find yourself in a tough situation. So if you file the petition and the divorce proceedings are still pending, USCIS is going to issue an RFE, a request for evidence, asking for the divorce decree. Now, if you cannot produce the divorce decree, they will deny the petition, which you do not want to happen. So in that situation, if it's still pending, you would want to also file under the extreme hardship uh, section to still seek that waiver requirement and hopefully the decree comes in before the petition is decided and you can submit that evidence that divorce decree otherwise uh you know you you would be able to prove that you're eligible under extreme hardship and get approved on those grounds so ultimately you can still uh you know petition to remove the conditions on your green card if you are divorced or in the process of getting divorced so long as you have that divorce decree 
and you can prove the legitimacy of the marriage. So that's it. That's the video. We just covered how divorce can affect your ability to remove the conditions on your conditional green card. If you like this video and you want to see more, please like, subscribe, and I'll keep making them.